This is Carl Kaska, and I'm just giving you a quick look at the changes which Google has made to the Google search engine. First, we'll do a Google search for the word candle. And so you'll see that we have our normal results. And on the left, there's a column here that you may not have noticed before. The first default is to everything, so that would be searching everything on the web. And then you could Click images and see images for that word or phrase. You can also see videos that would come up for that word or phrase. Click more. And here you could see blog posts that would come up for that or social media updates like Twitter and discussions, which would give you forum results. Click fewer to decrease those. You could also at any time go back to everything. When you do, you could also click on Latest, and this will give you some very, very current results as well as some of the standard Google results that you would get in a Google search. You also, and you can click on 24 hours, past week, month, year, so you can really have a lot of flexibility there as far as when you get those results. When you click on sorted by date, they'll sort them that way. And if you wanted just to get results that are near you, I'm in Pasadena, so you can get some results here for Pasadena, California, which is nice if you want to find restaurants and things like that. Also, then you can click on related searches to get an idea of some other searches you might consider. and the Wonder Wheel, which is great for doing research on keyword terms. So if you're looking at different keywords that you're considering, you could take a look and see what you find out. For instance, I may never have considered stearic acid candles, but I found that through focusing in on candle history. That was using the Wonder Wheel. And along with that, you can use the timeline and notice that you can get Google results going all the way back to 3000 BC. Simply amazing. One other feature that's kind of interesting is that you can get page previews. And so now over here on the right, you can see that you get a little view of the web page before you actually go there, which is nice too, to try to help you navigate the web. So that's it. Those are the new Google features. You can play around with them some more. And remember, you always have the option of seeing more or less. Take care and good luck. This is Carl Kaska, and I hope this has been helpful.